and they're both three units from the right y-axis. Okay, let's see what is different about their location, difference in location. Okay, they're in different quadrants. Um, they're on opposite sides of the y-axis. I'm sorry, the x-axis. They're on different sides of the x-axis. Now, if I were to find the line of symmetry for these two points, where, how could I fold the coordinate plane so that the points would match up? So the last time, we could fold the y-axis and the points would match up. Let's try that now. So here's our y-axis. If I folded it there, this would be over here and over there, so they would not match up. But if I folded it on the x-axis, it's one, two, three, four units, one, two, three, four units. So if I folded it on the y-axis, the point, or the x-axis, the points would match up. So the line of symmetry is the x-axis. Okay, now looking at the third and final set of points they've given us, keeping 3, 4 as our initial point, and then now negative 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 4. Okay, now we're going to see what do these coordinates have in common. Okay, are their x coordinates the same? They are not. Are their y coordinates the same? They are not. So these coordinates don't have anything in common. So same for the coordinates? Nothing. What about difference for the coordinates? Well, our x coordinates, they are not the same. They are opposites then our y coordinates are opposite also. So the x coordinate and the y coordinates are opposites. Okay, let's look about their location. What is similar about their location? Hmm, well, they're on different sides of the y-axis, different sides of the x-axis. Um, they are both four units from the x-axis and three units from the y-axis. So let's put that. They are three units from y-axis. They are four units from the x-axis. Okay. What about differences in their location? They are in different quadrants. They are on different sides of the X and Y. I'm recording. Okay, could we make a line of symmetry for these points? So somewhere that we could fold the coordinate plane so that the points would match up. If we folded it on the y-axis, this point would go here and that there, so it wouldn't match. If we folded it across on the x-axis, that. That would match there and there. That wouldn't work. So in looking for a line of symmetry, if we folded it diagonally across the origin, those points would line up. So diagonal across the origin. All right.
Let's move down to the next exercise. We have filled that chart in. Hopefully you were able to notice um, how they changed. So here their y coordinates were the same and then the x coordinates were the same. The x coordinates were opposites but then the y coordinates were opposites. And how these kind of mirror each other. This line of symmetry was the y axis, the x axis. So let's think about these similarities and differences as we move in to the next exercise. Okay, reflection. When we think about symmetry, reflection is often one of the first uh, types of symmetry that come to mind because the word mirror. Now we, we said this one could be, this could be the line of symmetry. That's because it exactly mirrors each other on that line. So for example, when we have the point over here for 3, 4, and then that point was at 3, negative 4, our line of symmetry was the x-axis. So when those folded across, they matched exactly, just as if this were a mirror. This would be the reflection of our original point. So reflection is an identical part across a line of symmetry. And another word for reflection, aka, is the flip. And I like to remember that because they both have the FL. There's a little trick to help us remember. So if this just flipped over the y-axis, they would match up exactly. Now in this case, we're talking about with a point that as you might remember from other parts of geometry, it could work with shapes as well. For example, if this were a triangle and it were to flip over it, the x-axis, then it would be identical but flipped over that. So it's just flipping right over. Or if it were to flip over the x-axis, the y-axis, it's one, two, three units, one, two, three units. And it would be an exact mirror, an exact reflection over that line of symmetry. So that works with shapes and also points. So a reflection is just flipping over that line of symmetry. Okay, exercise at the bottom. It has given us the point S on a coordinate plane, which is located at 5, 3. So look at the coordinate plane they've given for you. Find point S. That's where we're going to begin this. The blue does not erase very well. Okay, S is at 5, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3. Okay. So the given point is S, and if you move to the box under that, the given point is reflected across the x-axis. So here's our x-axis, and we're going to reflect it across there. So we're going to make a mirror. This x-axis is our mirror. Where would the other point be? So it has to be the same distance. One, two, three. One, two, three. Exactly mirrored across there. And they have that point already plotted for you. What letter represents that point. Hopefully you were able to find M. So over in your chart, you've got S, 5, 3. In the box underneath that, I'd like you to write the letter M and give its coordinates. So if we start at 0 on the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is our x-coordinate. And then to get to M, we need to go down 3, so negative 3. Okay, if we look at the similarities here, we notice that our x-coordinates stayed the same and our y-coordinates are opposite. So when we reflected across the x-axis, 
Any difference? I don't know, I guess. Um, our x coordinates stayed the same, but our y coordinates became opposites. Okay, moving down to the next spot, we're going to go back to s, that's our given point, and reflect it across the y axis. So here's our y axis. It's one, two, three, four, five units from there. One, two, three, four, five. And so this is a reflection of point S across the y-axis. They already have that point there labeled for you, letter L. So let's go down here where it's reflected across the y-axis is letter L. And let's find its coordinates. So starting at the origin, we need to move left on the x-axis, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Then up, so that's a positive one, two, three. So now when we compare this coordinate to our original point, our x coordinates are opposites and our y coordinates are the same. So you might notice here which axis you reflect across, that coordinate stays the same. When we reflect it across the x axis, the x coordinates stay the same. When we reflect it across the y axis, our y coordinates stayed the same. All right, go on down to the third box, x then y. So we're going to go back to point s. That is our given point. Reflect it across the x-axis, which we've done, and gives us point m. Now we're going to reflect this point across the y-axis. So we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that point is labeled A. The coordinates for A, starting at the origin, going left on the x-axis, so it's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And then down, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Okay, so then once we are reflecting across both axes, our x-coordinates are opposite, and our y-coordinates are opposite. Let's see what happens if we did it in the opposite order. If we reflect across the y-axis, then the x. So we'll go back to our given point at s, reflect it across the y-axis that we've already done in l, reflect that point across the x-axis, one, two, three, one, two, three. We are still at point A. So when reflecting across both axes, it does not matter which order. You will have the same endpoint, which are the opposite coordinates of your original point. Let's go ahead and try that with the second column. So our new given point is negative 2, 4. Okay, so let's find that on your coordinate plane. Negative 2 on the x-axis and then positive 4 here. And I'm going to call that point G. So when I take that point and reflect it across the y, the x-axis first. So we're going to take negative 2, 4 and reflect it across the x-axis. Here's the x-axis, so 4 units away. 2, 3, 4. I get my new point. Let's see what its coordinates are. Starting at the origin, left, so that would be negative 2. Then down 4, so that would be negative 4. Negative 2, negative 4. Okay? And it matches our pattern that we have here. Our x coordinates stayed the same, and our y coordinate are opposites. So I want you to use these patterns to complete the chart. Good luck. Your problem set for lesson 16 is practice reflecting points across the x and y axis. Read the directions carefully. And thanks for watching.